Hello and welcome to another video of this machine learning do-it-yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about a priori algorithm. It's an algorithm which discovers the likelihood of one event given the fact that another event has occurred. Or, in other words, it understands or discovers the rules which define the likelihood of an event occurring based on another event. Giving an example, if it's cloudy and it's windy, most likely it's going to rain. So what is the likelihood that it's going to rain given the conditions? If it's bright and sunny, most likely it may not rain that day given the conditions. So a priori algorithm is a science, a machine learning, which understands what occurrences or what items, what events occur together. So, as I mentioned, it understands the set of transactions to discover the rules of likelihood of occurrence of an item or an event based on occurrence of other events or items. A very good use, uh, usage or a use case for a priori algorithm is market basket analysis, which understands that what are the products or items bought together in a transaction by a customer. It is designed to operate on a database, on databases containing multiple transactions. This is very, very commonly used concept for retail store or a website. Like if you visit uh, Netflix or any other movies, website, databases, based on the movie you have selected, it can tell you that you may like, you may also like to watch these movies. So it's like a, you know, association, a priori algorithm applied so that it understands what are the movies which a person or customers watch frequently or together. Another use case of this a priori algorithm, apart from market basket anal uh, analysis, is used in healthcare to detect the adverse drug, drug reaction. It again creates a relationship or association rules on what medi medications combined with patient characteristics leads to adverse drug reaction, ADR. So, in order to understand how it works and what are different KPIs slash parameters or terms important to a priori. So, this is transaction and I'm going to show you how a priori works in Excel to make the basic fundamental of this algorithm clear. Let's take a look at this set of 10 transactions. The products list down the items brought, brought together. So in the first transaction, chicken, oil, onion, milk are brought together, are bought together, milk, bread and potato, chicken, bread, oil and so on and so forth. Column number C marks transaction which contains chicken only. Irrespective of other products, we are looking at just a chicken and mark one against the transaction. Chicken and oil is column D, which tells you combination of chicken and oil brought together in the transaction. There are four in total. And then oil only, irrespective of any other product, what are the transactions where oil has been bought? Now, we want to do an association rule analysis, a priori algorithm, to understand what is my support, which is, I'm going to talk about definition in a while, in a bit. So support, confidence, and lift. These three KPIs for a priori algorithm helps understand the association's rule better. So let's see one by one. Support. It's calculated 
based on so support for chicken and oil is the number of transactions of chicken and oil divided by the total transactions so number of transactions of chicken and oil together are 4 divided by 10 which is 0 0.4 so d12 divided by 10 which is the total number of transactions confidence so what is the confidence which or what is the value of the confidence which tells me that chicken and boil oil are bought together so chicken and oil divided by transactions where chicken and chicken only are bought divided by the total number of transactions i repeat what is my confidence level which tells me that if a person buys chicken oil will or most likely he will also end up buying oil so it's the chicken and the number of transactions of chicken and oil divided by chicken only transactions so it's a ratio the ratio is 4 upon 7 so 4 transactions divided by total transactions is 0.571 Please note that for confidence, I have ignored the to total transaction because this will also be chicken and oil divided by total number of transactions. So it's something like this. Support of chicken and oil divided by chicken only upon total transaction. Support means again chicken and oil divided by transactions and that is why I have ignored decimals. This is also equal to so 0.4 divided by 0.7 which is 4 by 7. So I hope this helps. And lift. The lift is another term Lift is calculated as support for chicken and oil divided by chicken only divided by oil only. So formula would be 0.4 which is support of chicken divided by chicken only upon total transactions which is going to be 0.5 and oil only is going to be 0.7 then that comes out to be 1.1428 so now let's understand the formal definitions the official bookish definition for support confidence and lift so support it tells you where the transactions where combination of chicken and oil are bought together divided by total number of transactions confidence is support of chicken and oil that means 0.4 divided by transactions where chicken only are bought and lift is chicken and oil together divided by chicken only and oil only transactions. So this is what is support, confidence and lift. In the next video we are going to see the formal definitions and then we do hands on and a priori algorithm. Thank you for watching.